but the, it, um, as much as there's all this crazy stuff that's happening, right? And it's as, as it's not as crazy when you think about the crazy stuff that happens in other countries. Do you understand? There's some places that it's a bit more more than Lagos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some places where you never even get where you even find you wouldn't even get the money to pay those people. They will prevent you for everything economically as well. Yeah, we think mm. Lagos is not a destitute place. That's the one thing you can say about this place. Yeah, yeah. money flows. Money flows. Money yeah. flows. And legal then you, or you, illegal, you can it flows. see the money as well. Questionable or not questionable, it flows. Yeah, you can see. It. <laughs> Other places you can't see the money. Like London, yeah. you really can't see the money. If you don't know, you don't know. I'm telling you, and you will never know. Hmm. True. That's and then if, if things okay, the secret to making money, I've always said yeah, is like find where money flows and just put yourself in, in the middle somewhere. Yeah, true. And yeah. it'll come yeah. to you. Yeah. It'll come yeah. to you one day. Just, just put I yourself agree. in the middle. Yeah. But if you don't see where the money's flowing, I agree. you're just going to be there just catching air all the time. <laughs> like nothing's but coming. But you're right. London flows, m- money flows in London, but as a black person, how often do you have access to it without selling yeah, your soul? You don't, yeah, you don't. Without fit, selling yeah. your soul is mm. the key. And I think that's a lot of the reasons that a lot of Black people end up leaving, mm. whether it's here or to other countries. Why is there soul selling here? I mean, that's unquestionable, unquestionable, isn't? Yeah, isn't they, yeah. There's soul well. selling here, but you don't have to do it in London to be successful as a black person. I'm sorry, I don't care what anyone says. You have to sell your soul. Yeah, so you have to, and it's not yeah. selling your soul comes in different formats. Wow. Yeah, but They're you low. have you. It's it's like a no. You have to. Yeah, mm. you have to take things. Comments you don't want to take. You have to laugh at jokes you don't oh, want to take. See, you have see, to go I to see. events you don't want to take. Oh, you have to you put mean. step down on your fellow blacks that you may uh, they want to. You don't want to. You have to gatekeep other people. So there's a lot of things you have to do that when you look in the mirror you're not going to rate yourself for, mm. but you have to do it. Oh yeah, I'm to gonna progress. I'm gonna hot somebody up quickly. I'm not gonna say his name, but you, we man, you work for <laughs> one company like that, yeah. <laughs> and I was first of all, I was the kind of the only black guy in the company that was doing very well, and then. And then I was now taking the piss because I was the only black guy in the company that was doing well. So the the manager or the director of the company realized and he hired another black guy who was also equally as, not equal, but equally as smart, but he was getting up. He was getting up, right? <laughs> he was getting Doctor. up. He was getting up. <laughs> and then, anyway, long story short, the, 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 I went to the company one day and then the guy just said, oh, I want to introduce you to someone. And then he brought this, this other nigga coming, coming through like this. And the guy was like, so I was just, me, I'm just like, bro, brother, like, we're good, we're here, like, what's up? And then the guy just just gave a bit of, like, energy that wasn't, you know, like, that guy in W, but that kind of energy. That waste man, yeah. <laughs> so he gave a bit of energy like that. I'll so tell I, you about that later. Tom. So I, so I was, <laughs> anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just looking at this brother like, bro, like, trust me, I could run around in circles with these white people. You cannot do the same thing. So like, he, no, he didn't have you the need source. To be, you need to be allies. Yeah. Like, yeah. don't kind of be, because you don't have the source like that. So yeah. anyways, long story short, I looked at the situation and I just thought, you know what, I don't want to be part of this shit, man. I'm going to go, I'm going to start my own business. I'm telling you. But um, a lot of people go through that in the UK where like, yeah. you might be doing so well in certain areas. People might bring another person that will like you. And then they'll f- try and create that friction. Do you know, for, they'll, they'll Do you know how bad London other. is? Yeah, as two black people to in the same organization, though? you can't. You feel ah. some type of way to laugh in the office. They together. love it. You, they you love feel some type of way to be seen together. That's how bad the environment is. Mm. You don't want to be laughing with your fellow black colleagues. You don't mm. want to be. Why? Well, because they're going to say them. Yes. And you don't want that. It, and it's it's something that you're forced to be so conscious about that yeah. some of us just feel like it's not even worth it. Man. Mm. Like, you know what it is? Yeah, we'll make it without this environment. It's not even like it's. Uh, it's you know, not worth it. But at the same time. Oh, well, the things I've heard of Nigerian employers, a Nigerian employer will tell you, you know, you're stupid, right? Your friend told me that. Is, is oh. I said that to him. I said, Emike, you said that to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, yeah. So I want to hear. Let's talk I about. I want to hear what's on this because this <laughs> country, yeah, <laughs> this country, there's, there's people that there's can madness. get you. Back. <laughs> I, don't think I don't take that <laughs> so, either. <laughs> so as a boss, as a boss, okay. In my in my in my business, yeah, we have an open policy. Like, say how you feel, Good, right? Yes. Even to me, to everybody, say exactly. how you feel, uh-huh. but be able to express yourself because, like, we we we're in a hard society to be doing <laughs> PC culture. <laughs> Tolly, tell us what you've seen and heard in this Nigeria. Man, place. I've seen them. <laughs> in banking, there's a lot of shit that happens. Mm. Really. So um I've seen someone who is a senior employee, like a senior person, and like another senior person, like his own boss, yeah. came and ran him down on the shop floor oh, with 
several junior employees there. Like it was more mm-hmm. running down in what in what like literally abusing, running down. Abusing verbally. Abusing verbally. Oh. Like I just thought to myself, this man is probably the chairman in his family. He's probably the one sponsoring Honestly. his brothers and sisters through school. This guy was like by far my senior in terms of level, and probably would have at least like fifteen years experience on his belt. And yeah, like I was just like, and people take a lot of things. I can tell you that there was I I've been somewhere where a boss said to another person, and he was like, "So you're gonna go home today." And say I, that you've worked and look at your children in the eye. That you've gone to work I and go back. something like this. Instead of you to go and be thinking of committing suicide. Ah! I was like, should I leave here? Should I be here? I was, I was like, should I be here? Should I? Where? And he said this in front of other people. Yes. In a meet. No, you see me. Nah, I, you I see me. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you see me. I'm breaking the ball. I'm you. <laughs> I'm aware. We will go. You cannot say that to me in front of other people. Are you? How do you become? Ah. I'll, break, I'll break his head. Money? I don't care. But that's the problem I have. My and that's why I realized I one. cannot. That's terrible. But the thing is, you need money. Damn. Man. Yeah, so it's always like, that. Nigeria, yeah, we've got, I think it's a lot of people have scarcity mindset. There's options everywhere. You can't, you say that, but I, that's privileged mindset talking. So on one, on, so there's, 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 there's the, yeah, it is privileged mindset. Mm. I tell you that. On the lower end of the spectrum, like people just need to get by. Exactly. So they can't leave survival that job. Mental, everyone's a survival. There's now the higher level where who, who can pay you? Mm. So you're a very senior employee in the negotiation and they're choking you down with money. There aren't many organizations They'll give you the money. that can pay you. Mm. So you will take that shit. Like you will take it and, my friends- and come back tomorrow. But what happens, what now happens is now it makes the culture bad because exactly. yeah. you give me that kind of heat. Exactly. I go give my team that kind of heat. Yeah, the pressure uh, gets transferred. Uh, I've noticed that. And then before that. you know it, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might even leave the organization, but I've trained by always transferring Toxic. heat. I'm a leader. It's definitely. Exactly. Definitely. Next thing, that's the culture. Mm. People are, new people are coming in and then Transfer, before you know it, yeah, in yeah, three yeah. years, two years, they're shot into the aggressive. Fam, that's I was, mad. I, I, sorry, I have to say this. Somebody was in my house mm-hmm. and they were having a, a weekly or daily Zoom call mm-hmm. and I was just listening to how they were being talking to each talking other. To it was like in the market square. <laughs> tunde, tunde. Yeah. What kind of nonsense is this? What kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> <laughs> I said, my God. And this, I mean, if you look at the kind of company they're working for, they are, the company's everywhere. Like, mm-hmm. But the way they just picked each other in the court, I said, my God, I would never... <laughs> There's me. no professionalism. <laughs> That's the one which, like, which is why, like, at the end of the day, even if like foreign companies are trying to create a solution mm. for Africa, and I think mm. this is not just an Nigerian thing, you have to understand the streets of that Facts. country. Facts. Which is why, like, at the end of the day, you, you need the local guys. Because... Mm. That's probably how Tunde understands Fact. how to get to, things yeah, done. Yeah. Although, like, for you, it might be cringe. Like, I don't get, like, you guys yeah. are not able to speak properly. But then, like... I don't judge the speaking thing because I watch a lot of interviews with um, top CEOs in Africa. And there's one CEO, he's a car manufacturer in um, Nigeria, mm. yeah? And Ibo guy, so you guys should figure out who I'm talking yeah. about. Mm-hmm. This guy sounds like an illiterate. Mm-hmm. But what this guy has been able to build in this country, is 99.99% of people will not even touch his legacy. So I feel like we have to be careful of that mentality that the better English you speak, yeah. the more learned or smart mm. you are. Yeah. But I also get what you mean. For me, with your point, I think it's just more the professionalism. And for I, me, don't insult me in the workplace because I will sort you and your mother and your grandmother <laughs> and your future generations back. I don't cannot, talk to me like that. I cannot get past bad English. I swear to God. Uh, no, you can't judge people on bad English. Uh, no, it, I can't get past it. You can't, you can't judge I can't, people. Literally, like, if you're just not sounding right, <laughs> I don't trust you much. <laughs> I don't trust you because I'm like, not yet selling fish in the market, you know? <laughs> no, I, so the thing is, I, 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 and I, and I, I get, I get where you're coming from, but I think when, as you, as you interact with exactly. the talent yeah. pool, mm. you would find that there are a few very good people yeah. who just didn't have that. Yeah, that they are finishing. good people. That yeah. finishing, but, yeah. But my, and like, my job is finishing. We don't do anything before finish. So it depends. So, so what you would probably do is for maybe sales roles or things that are client-facing exactly. where you need to, you know, present that, you know, finesse. Mm-hmm. You would exactly. hire people like that. But there's some people who can get things done Facts. who don't have that finesse. I'm telling you. And mm-hmm. so you just have to maybe layer on. So if that person, you know, 
Mm-hmm. That person just not engage in the general. Mm. Yeah, but if if it really affects you, still within the pool, you probably find good people. Mm, that patience, the patience I have in the core sometimes, <laughs> I just be like, can you go back to school for one minute, please? Because <laughs> I can't do it. I I I worked with someone who the sen- like the ten the tenses can mm. go in between when they speak. Nah, yeah. Oh my gosh. It messes me up. It messes me up. Um, but that guy is superstar. Mm. So like, I remember just. <sighs> But you, but you know, it's this smart. is the person that is anchoring the whole thing. <laughs> the thing. <laughs> I would take the test. I would speak up with clients. Mm. I would do the front facing the thing. Front-facing stuff, but yeah. when it's done, I call. Him. <laughs> <laughs> In the back, was the answer. Yeah. I, I actually, to, I feel that. Uh, no, I, I'm time, telling the you. Are actually, <laughs> I'm telling you, you can't, you can't judge. Yeah. But I wanted to end on a, um, on a positive note and ask you, what is your favorite thing about Nigeria? About Nigeria, yes. Despite mm. all the madness, the worries, left, right, and center, the, the insecurity. You know, what could you still say is your favorite thing? You say about- Nigerian men. No, she's not saying Nigerian men. Definitely you, you not. Definitely <laughs> not. Um, but I would say the energy. And the okay. energy kind of translates first from the people. Like, so people are driven. Mm. I would say, like, Nigerians are probably the most, like, arrogant Africans. Facts on the continent. Easy. And it's because, like, we feel like we mm-hmm. we deserve what we want more we Trans- yeah, because if, <laughs> like if, if, if you came from the trenches and then you became rich <laughs> next day who, who, who else is going to tell you you're all this shit <laughs> the country is hard it's hard, it's hard. Yeah. yeah but Nigerians have drive facts I, Nigerians have drive in anything you'd see the guy that cleans my house that guy is driven I love that he's a cleaner I but love he's a driven cleaner so much so that like anybody that needs any cleaning service I'm Recommending it. I don't get a call to anything, mm. but I'm just like, this guy's work must pay I him. I love that. Just mm. because of the energy. Mm-hmm. And you see that even when Nigerians like go outside of the country, yes. they thrive. Mm. Facts. Facts. The, the, the systems here are so difficult that I feel like if you can rise above here, you mm. can really, really do so well mm. where yes. you can be enabled and it's easier. Yeah. So the thing I like about Nigeria is just like the energy, the drive. Um, and I think the hope that people have, regardless mm. of everything that happens, people still like hope in the mm. country. It's funny. Like, I'm just like, I don't get. What are you saying? We're here right now. Oh, please, we're hoping. Please, we're hoping. We have hope. Wait, 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 like if you go on the street you see one guy that's probably not eating maybe dancing to the yes. latest like mm. people like still people yes. are happy people's not maybe it's not happiness yeah, maybe yeah. it's just a way to push out the or ease therapy. off yep. yeah yeah maybe it's the therapy but like people <laughs> don't stir <laughs> <don't therapy. laughs> It's, yeah, there's like... I, I agree with you. I see that all the time. You see you see barmaids that are getting paid 10K, 20K a month, dancing at the thing, like you know, they're, trying just, to play with you and stuff. And I love that. Yeah, yeah. I love I think, that. I think people have like positive attitudes. Yeah, still, I agree with generally. that. Generally. Mm, yeah. Regardless good. of... Like giving what we're... Giving the state of the nation. Tell me. Mm-hmm. Like people still try it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's good. good. I've, I've had so much fun with you on today. Like, it's been so yes, nice. Nice having you. Yeah, you won't come me. again soon. Like, it was good. And obviously, do you need any sugar daddies? <laughs> Hit doctor up. No, 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 no couple. But these saying. Delta men, do they even pay? What? <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't try it. Don't I'm try it. You need all your money, niggas. You hey, pay, you Delta pay. men, they, they, they will move you to the village in Delta and baby boot you out. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> all right, cool. Mm. Thank you.